PowerPoint presentation today on uh, the American Red Cross. Uh, this presentation was created by me, Jesse, uh, Blessing, uh, Greg, and Dom. Um, so uh, the American Red Cross is a uh, very important association, nonprofit, or nonprofit organization in uh, the United States, and they help everywhere around the world, not just in the United States. And they're, a lot of you probably think they're just about taking your blood or anything like that, but they're more than just taking people's blood. They help a lot of people that are in hard times. Um, the, uh, in this presentation, we're gonna be going over the, uh, the history of the American Red Cross and how it actually came to become a, such a successful nonprofit organization that a lot of, it, a lot of people look to for help. Um, and we're going to be looking at how the uh, American Red Cross actually helps other than just uh, taking people's blood, uh, what they do during a time of crisis, um, and when there's natural disasters. Um, and also we'll be taking a look at uh, what celebrities and, and uh, other uh, companies support this, uh, the, net, the American Red Cross because they are a nonprofit organization. None of this stuff is actually free, so they do need help with that. And a lot of the companies that do help do a great job. The American Red Cross was founded by Clara Barton in 1881 after she was sending supplies to people in the war. This is the mission statement of the American Red Cross. The American Red Cross prevents and alleviates human suffering in the face of emergencies by mobilizing the power of volunteers and the generosity of donors. There could only be one American Red Cross in a country, like they all have to come together as one. It, they are dedicated to helping people with natural disasters like Hurricane Katrina, and people in the war and just sending um, the people overseas like care packages and things. They are an independent organization. It is based off of volunteers who help with it. And they received their first congressional charter in 1990 and their second one in 1905. Here are some of the partnerships that they are with. Like the first, the Spanish American War, was the first one that they partnered with, with sending them materials and stuff. And they partnered with the World War One and World War Two, the Korean conflict, the supplemental internment and activities overseas, and other operations. And they have the Junior Red Cross inspired by World War I. It is students like roll up bandages, knit scarves, and others to like send to the people over them. And after the war, the Junior Red Cross, they, they kept on working to help other students overseas to have like a better life. So the American Red Cross exists to provide compassionate care those in need of help through five main service areas, and those are disaster relief, supporting America's military families, life-saving blood, health and safety services, and international services. So basically, American Red Cross responds to over 70,000 disasters each year in America, and worldwide too, and they provide emergency response vehicles which drive through the affected disaster area and provide food, and items to any, anyone who's in need. They provide overnight shelters, which house people and give them a safe place to sleep at night. They give relief items such as basic toiletries, rakes, tarps, anything they need. They work, they work partnerships with, with the community to provide hot meals, snacks, water, any types of food or any needs. And 95% of the workers are volunteers from throughout the country 
and they're on call and can be ready within hours when a disaster strikes. The American Red Cross supports America's military families, and their motto is that they serve our nation, so we are honored to serve them. They help link military families during a time of disaster, and they support wounded warriors in military hospitals by reintegrating them in the, back into the community and supporting them with whatever needs they, they have. The American Red Cross is the nation's largest blood collection organization. They supply 40% of blood used in our country. They take 5.6 million blood donations each year and ship them to, over, to patients in over 2,700 hospitals throughout America. American Red Cross is one of the nation's leading training and course development for health and safety services, and over nine million people, over nine million Americans, are experienced and trained in planning and preparations in America. And it's not just in the United States; they respond to disasters overseas. They provide international assistance in 73 countries. They, they vaccinated 1.1 billion children against measles and rubella. And they re help reconnect families after disasters. Um, Red Cross also has a lot of uh, support. Um, Red Cross receives donations from normal people, everyday, everyday workers, um, famous people, Businesses, whatever they can get. Um, they're a nonprofit organization, as has been said. And everyone who pretty much works for Red Cross is just a volunteer. They don't have to be there, but they want to be there to help the other people. Um, they always have a lot of advertisements going on. They, can, they campaign and uh, produce ads asking for donations. Um, they have campaigns to raise awareness of their cause and health risks and diseases such as breast cancer. Um, their website has multiple links to where people can pledge their time and money to help out. Um, the organization attempts to tie itself with celebrities and other well-known persons to bolster the awareness of its causes to make people aware that just a little bit of money can save a lot of lives. Um, they are always actively recruiting people for charity events, donations, donation collecting, and mission work in other countries, and so on. Uh, the organization attempts to tie itself with celebrities, which I mean, that's crazy. But anyways, a lot of um, what they do is just they try to get money and donations to help the people who can't really live well off and need um, blood transplants or something to help them actually live and move on and not be sick. Um, Red Cross partners with a lot of different organizations like the NAACP, National Association um, of, of the Advancement of Colored People who facilitate interactions with the Red Cross and colored communities. And Red Cross also is partnered with the Boy Scouts of America. They provide Boy Scouts of America with possible first aid training opportunities and uh, in return, the Boy Scouts return favors as in um, volunteering for blood work, um, volunteering to support them and help them out with blood drives and any other event they, they have going on. Um, anyone like you yourself could be a volunteer for Red Cross at any time. Um, you can donate 25 cents, you can donate up to thousands of dollars if you really wanted to. And that I mean that little dollar can go a long way. Uh, go, uh, going along with uh, organizations that support the uh, Red Cross, um, they also receive a lot of their support from celebrities. Um, they actually have a national celebrity cabinet. Um, it is actually, it's actually pretty expansive, uh, covering people from uh, music backgrounds to acting, uh, movie stars, and big sports figures. Um, the 
celebrities on the board are given uh, the opportunity for a, a length of a year at a time to go and help where, help out wherever uh, the Red Cross is needed. So by doing this, um, it's kind of like a free form of marketability for the American Red Cross. They can get, uh, they can use them as uh, a focal point for ordinary people like you and me to want to help donate or even help come come help and give out uh, water, food, other things like that. Um, the actors in the cabinet, uh, like I said, is a large list. Um, some of the common names are Trace Atkins, uh, Miley Cyrus, uh, Eli Manning and Dave Manning, and then uh, even Darius Rucker, um, the country singers and uh, sports players. Um, why are the celebrities important? Well, like I said, uh, they're a form of marketability that can't be achieved from a nonprofit organization uh, because they they do everything free. Uh, so by getting these celebrities, uh, it's a, they can use them for ads. Um, they use images and articles of the celebrities helping out to persuade more people to want to help or give blood or all that stuff. Um, this is necessary on account of them being a nonprofit organization, like I said. Um, so in conclusion, uh, the American Red Cross was founded by a woman, which not a lot of organizations can say that, considering most are founded by men, so that's a good thing. Uh, it, they provide care all around the world, not just in the United States. Um, it's a, they're a very good company or nonprofit organization that gives uh, a lot of help to people that need it. And they do support the military tremendously, uh, trying to reintegrate them back into society, um, supplying them with uh, blood if they get hurt and all that stuff. Um, it also reunites families uh, during like uh, during natural disasters, a lot of times families get split up and they do the best that they can to help get the family back together. 